I am taking our time in the name of whom we are taking time in the name of Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, we please God. So do you have more pain in your heart? Do you have pain or not? Yes. Sometime? Yes. Earlier? At present? Yes. Yesterday? Before yesterday? Any time we might be having pain in our heart. In our life, in our soul. So that pain always <coughs> can I tell other? Yes or no? Yes. I can say I may not say yes also. Because everything I cannot say. Whatever pain in my heart, in my life. I can share with my brother, with my sister, with my friend, with anyone. But not all the matter what is going on inside. Can you say share? No. Some I can share, some I cannot share. But we can share to one who is we feel that we are saving, whom we believe, who has created us, we can share to him. That is God, what we call it. In our Christianity, we say it, we can share to Jesus Christ, we can share to the Holy Spirit. And likewise, we have done today, Jeremiah, the prophet, great prophet, is sharing his joys and sorrows to whom? To the people. Now, and when we read to the people, but when he was having pain in his heart, in his life, in his mind, he was sharing to whom? We are not talking. But, yeah, let us talk, let us talk, understand and glorify God. God is being glorified when? When we talk, when we sing, when we praise Him, when we witness in our life. Through Bible, we are reading and Jeremiah the prophet, through him, we are reading the words and praising God. His words he has written. And now, through this Bible, we are praising God. Because his life has been recorded over there. Let us. So, yesterday, so Father has written. Knowingly or unknowingly. See, we went to Calcutta for the Christmas Mass. After Christmas Mass, when we went to the Pauline bookstore, then I chose the book. So I had no money. So I asked him, could you please, for, if you have got money, I can please buy it. So I bought. Then when he, this he he's supposed to give money, so he gave. Then after that he took the bill. Then he said, this is for you, the gift. <coughs> See, knowingly, unknowingly, please. Father has gifted me. <coughs> that gift is for me a golden gift. What do you say? This golden also can be measured. Golden can be also measured in rupees, this amount, but it is a limited. The gift he has given me cannot be limited. Can you limit it? Can you limit, limit it? <coughs> this month, how much did we pay for that? 950. 950. 
the cost of this book the cost of this book the bible book can be measured by number but what is written in this bible book can you measure who can measure who can measure the work of god cannot be measured so that much father has given me yesterday so shall we open no need to open this yeah this is the scroll of of god should be open and see what is written that's why in the beginning i said let us record it in our life our life let us record because we are not recording our life from birth till now and that's why we are not able to remember what are the joys in our life what are what are the sorrows in our life and that meaning is not coming to us how this god has created us how this our life is meaningful when there is a pain and we feel no meaningful or no meaning in our life yes or no yes we say i feel bad <coughs> my heart is being pain my mind is being pain my soul is being pain yes or no we say no yes some of us we say no we are not say but ask yourself i have said or no i have got pain so i say no. so but god is telling us when we worship whether in good or bad what we have to do how we should worship god that we find deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 29 where in the book of deuteronomy chapter 4 chapter 4 29 verse 29 shall we open no yes. yes this is correct for the time you let us open instead of open this book let us open our bible here bible is here yes or no yes bible is where yeah this is our altar as we have decorated this altar yes or no yes this is a god's altar our altar god is coming and we are here so in this holy bible let us open where our bible should be our bible should be in, in our heart in our heart so that we may know that how god is loving us and how we should praise him we say we say no we should love god how do we we love god and there it is speak if you want to love me love me with your soul with your mind and with your heart when you worship me worship me with your heart with your soul with your mind that's what these three things always should be going together if we are not worshiping god with our soul with our heart with our mind that that worship is meaningless that's why let us see whether we are worshiping god in our heart in our mind or in our soul or not everything we say must 
Every day we read Bible, every day we pray. But whether my heart is there or not, whether my soul is there or not, whether my heart is there or not. So, as we are speaking about good Jeremiah. So, his heart, his soul, his mind is speaking against the enemy. Against the enemy. To whom he is speaking? To God. Let this enemy go out. But what this is saying? Love your enemy. Love your enemy. What do we find? We find in the Bible. Which is the scripture? This where it is written. We find it where? Matthew. Anyone remembers? Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 on us. What he says? What he says? Love yeah. As I have loved you. No. Yeah. Like that only. But it is like this it says. Jesus says like this. You have heard. Reject your enemy. Reject means curse your enemy. You don't love your enemy. But I say love your enemies. Love your enemies. So how we can love our enemies? We are cursing. When we get pain, we are cursing. And nicely, the sum we hear, the sum, sum 35, what is this? When our pain is within us and we pray against the enemy. Pray against the enemy. Psalm 35. When enemies are around us, what do we do? We pray against the enemy. This enemy should be taken away. Or enemy should be killed. Enemy should be destroyed. So this is in our heart it goes. But how do we understand how God is taking away our enemies through our prayers? That will be fine, this one. Ephesians 6, 10 on side, 8 to 10 on our side. Protect yourself from your enemies by what? By love. Put on everything which is God's blessing. Through that we can be protected. Without that we cannot be protected. If we commit sin, if we lie, when we go against God, then we are not protected. Are we sleeping or are we meditating? By looking at also we can sleep. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. I am not here. In the beginning what we said? When we worship Jesus through our Deuteronomy 4 29 and What it says? When we worship Jesus God the Holy Spirit with our soul with our strength, with our heart. So this thing we have to remember. When we are here, let us this one, worship God with our whole heart, with our whole mind, with our whole heart. So we are speaking about our heart. Our how do we get the strength? How do we get the strength? Yesterday, 
So while we are going and coming back, so Father will remember nicely. So they were not like forcing me, but just not even joking like, just they are concerning about me. Yes or no? no they are concerned about me. But because they love me, because they love me, also they want to take care of my health. What? They want to take care of my health. Yes, yes or no? So that's why they were telling me, oh, why don't you take? Why don't you eat? We have brought. So Father Vincent had, here we could not prepare. And Father Vincent has prepared nice and well. So Father has enjoyed. And they also enjoyed. So I enjoyed. What I enjoyed? I enjoyed that dream. How they are going to eat. You saw no Yesterday I was telling them. I enjoyed what you were eating. How can you enter? This is the problem with them. Yes, you, you are not asking me, that's why I am asking you to ask me. So, I was telling them they were maybe getting angry or not, that is, I don't know. But, because so many times, going time also, coming time also, pastor task in the perspective also, even death drive also. So, so why you are not ready? Today is the first day. Yesterday was the first day or not? Yes. For Calcutta Diocese, at least. Solemnity. Mother. Solemnity Solemn. was Mother Mary's. Yeah. Mother Mary's. The Annunciation feast was there. <coughs> and on that, we had kept in our Calcutta Diocese that prism must, where priests supposed to be enjoying. Yes, sir. Yes. So, some of you have, or many of you have wished to. Congratulations, Father. Happy this Father. And that day, yesterday, listen, I was very worried about it. See, they are telling me, Father, this one, at least take some food. Now is over. Breakfast is over. Lunch is over. Afternoon is over. At least now you take. At least one drop of water. Take at least one drop of water. I said, let there be time. I know. Some of us, some of them they were saying, please your body will be can. Your body system will be dying. You may have some time after that, some problem. And then, according to as we are sitting over here, any doctor, any nurse, anyone of us will be here, he has to say, the language of the doctor has to say, say, you have to drink water in time or more water, I am not drinking. You have to take food timely so that your body will be Systematize with that regulation of your life in the food system. It is real. But I am enjoying this time. I was feasting. They were feasting. I am also feasting. No problem. How do we, as a Christian, how do we enjoy? How do we enjoy food? Jesus has taught us nicely that how do we enjoy food? By what is the food? Our food. What is that? Word of God. Eh? Word of God. Word of God. Very good. Sister has at least remember. Like this, I want to hear from you. We are supposed to enjoy the word of God. Sometimes that. So, this father, you don't mind this other presentation like this. Yes. I was being tempted, he said. 
Yes or no? As I said, since so far, so far I also can understand nicely that I was being tested by the priest or whomever I was tested. As we read in the Bible, why Jesus is being tempted <coughs> in this scripture? Matthew, what? Matthew chapter 4, 1 Thomas. So when Jesus was what fasting? How many days? 40 days and 49. So after that, Satan is coming. Who is coming? Satan is coming. And he is being tested. Who? Jesus is being tested. If you are son of God, tell this stone. Then it can turn into bread and you can feed your hunger or satisfy your hunger. You can feed yourself. But Jesus said, the word of God is says we should we shall not be filled with the word of God. The word of God in our life is the first priority to be filled. Otherwise, in nature of way, in this world, we are hungry. We are thirsty of, of these things in the world. But if you go ahead with this, you cannot enjoy the real joy, real joy with God. You have to have the food of the heavenly, as God has given the Israelite manna. And now, through Jesus, the word of God is given to each one of us through this Bible. And that's why, in our life, the motto is always to be word of God. Because we have got no word of God in our heart. And that's why we are so much hungry in the physical, uh, physical way or physical body. But when we are hunger in spirit, in our heart, in our mind, in our soul, in our understand what we get. If we are being fed with this, all this hunger will go. Like Jesus, not only 40 days, for life we can fast. So, in the beginning we are saying, when we are hungry, we feel pain. One of us, one of the father asked me, are you not having pain? Yeah, when you have got this one, when you fast, you don't get this pain or this pain. Yeah. When you do physical this one, fasting, you will get the pain. Pain, that pain, when God comes there, so all the pain will go. That is God, that is Almighty, that is unlimited. In this body, whatever it may happen, sickness may happen, all kinds of worry may happen, that is leave it out. But the soul will be this one will not be affected. When soul will be affected? When sin comes in our life, the body also will be affected, the soul also will be affected, whether it or not. That's why we have to think of the body as well. Also first, the thing of the heaven for our soul. So when we have got pain in our life, we should remember this thing. That Jesus is, is there in our life. God is there in our life. He will show us the way. As we enter, there is a door. Yes or no? Yes. If there is a door, then as we enter, into the room, 
power to go out. That means another door also is there in our life. If this road is blocked, if this door is closed, then another road will be opened by God. There will be for you, for me, when we have got pain and suffering, there is a we believe God will do for me. God will save me. That means this road is blocked. Another road is open for you. That means that is the turning point in our life. Yes or no? Yes. Do you believe? Yes or no? Yes. Father may not be knowing. I was doing theology philosophy. There I am the one, means some of us are from zero to zero. So I became also one of the zeros. How? Many of the exams I used to fail. I have to repeat, not only once, at least one or two or twice I have repeated. And there was Father Marvin Tarapiet, Father he says, in my exam, if somebody has not repeated, he did not learn. So in his exam, at least, twice I have repeated. <laughs> philosophy plus theology. Both. If you, I did not get like a certificate. I did not bring. So maybe some of us are given the certificate. We get that after doing the course, we get the certificate. But I feel today I haven't collected. Maybe Bishop is collected for me. <laughs> Why does this, this uh, brother has qualified for the priesthood or not? Really? As I am speaking today, those times I used to be shy. I can speak really. In the English uh, grammar also, English talking also, I was not. That's why I was. As, uh, I was not talking with many people, only some few chosen people, my, so that my mistake should not be pointed out, otherwise I will get the, yeah. even not only philosophy and theology, I failed in my life another thing, when I was doing BA from St. Javier, you know St. Javier Paris, yes. in Calcutta. Calcutta University. So during that period, one more than one year we took for BA class. So in that time, according to me, according to me, according to me, I used to do this nicely classes, all, all the things, all the projects and all the studies. I was doing better. And in the um, budget with the principal. So she used to love me and give me a lot of work in this time. But I used to do it. But at the end, what happened? We gave all the exams, the road, even the practical reason. And I was failed. Praise be to God. Thank you to God. I failed after failed. That means at least at the last degree also, I failed. I, I was praying. The other exam is other papers. I got uh, around 50, more than 50. Only three subjects I got below 40. I was wondering, I supposed to get second division. And I got it failed. Three fail bits gone. And really I could not. After that, I supposed to teach in the school. And I should be, I could have been a principal. In our diocese, we are lacking of principal priest. So whom shall we send? And I was the this one. I could not do. I was intended to go. And I also loved. So whether I am able to or not, I loved it. So much I loved it. Then I was thinking, if I will be principal, 
people will praise me because as I see the principal plus they are priest or they are sister that they have been praised everywhere they have been invited father also is being invited because he is a sister he was talking then they are father they are putting him wherever you went you went as a leader is a that means you are superior to any any leader you know director or parish priest or this one so as i know that principal is a very nice job but the god first you way is preparing my way everyone block block one after the another after priest also I was not getting this enough. Morning. More this enough. I level. In small small place, not there. Please, yeah, this enough also. Ah, uh, not just in some station. Still like the only. Or the existing still today. Small place is everything. But now I feel that through small things only. You can become a great person. So much I talk today. I don't know why I am talking. Why I am talking to you? And today you have got duty, as I know. But I am taking our time in the name of whom? Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What? And also I am asking you to record it this one. And I will share to you, so that your life, you at least you have shown the face, yeah, always this one, so that at least how many other times there are many girls to be there, many girls. We have out of so many, we have two girls at in the life, in our life. Will turn your life. We know in the big book of Daniel, Mesut, Sadr, and Abednego. In their life, a trial came. What kind of trial? That trial came. And that time, the king is asking them, "You believe in my God?" That is why we will find Daniel chapter three. Fifteen to twenty one. What it says? If you don't believe in my God, if you are not humble to my God, if you don't pray to my God, then I have to throw into the furnace where fire and fire will be put to death. But they said what? Whether. Our God will save or not, whether our God will save or not, but still we will not obey you, God. We will not bow down you, God. As we have got pain in our life, whether God will solve our problem or not, but we have to believe in Jesus. Jesus will see. Where that we are being, that pain what we have got, that will be relieved or not with a good man. Paul says in the Roman chapter eight, twenty nine hours. I can praise God. I can love God. I can love Jesus. Where that pain or suffering. Whether I am in the good condition or not, not like that. Suffering and good will be in our life, and with this only we can see God. We know the history of Job. Yes or no? Yes or no? Job chapter two nine hours. What is the? Like Job is so much suffering. Job had so many things, 
in his life. All the signs died, all the things destroyed, and now the end is being so everywhere. He is undergoing all the pains, and his wife, what he said? You die with your God. You die with your God. Because you are serving God and God has taken everything. See, our God has taken everything. Our joys, our suffering, our joys and happiness and all kinds of good things is taken away. What job is taken in that moment? All the suffering is another way. Going to suffering is you are foolish woman. You are looking means you are like ordinary woman. In this moment, you are thinking like ordinary people. But if God has given me good thing, should I not undergo this suffering too? Yes or no? Are you sleeping? Yes or no? Yes. I am sleeping in our heart. Are we sleeping or not? If we have got blessing in our life, let us also take the suffering too, so that we may know the gift of God, the real gift. Father has given me, as we said, the real gift. I also say it is a real gift in my life. Like this, we have to be gifted and we should understand. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, yesterday I came to know what so far is what I have been for how to do it knows. So he was sharing about the pain of two sisters. Whom? Pain of two sisters. Why? Because they are doing the course, but they are not eligible for the degree. This is pain, his pain, doctor's pain, our pain. My pain, when I heard, I also felt very bad. Not only very bad, very, very bad. Two months or three months already done course. Already inaugurated and their photos and names and everything came out in our cell phone. We thought whomever they are admitted, their life is joy. Because joy is coming. After doing this course, they will go with a degree. But now, as I heard, because they are not listening to me, but I am hearing. Dr. Tapos and he, they were discussing. They are trying and trying. Wherever they are going, they have gone. So, already failed. They are failed means you put over are failed. So, you know, Nayantara or Harukine. So, Sister Tara and Sister Dilma. So, for you, Father is trying. I hope God will listen. Whether God will listen or not, whether God will listen or not, for you there is a vocation. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. As in my life I saw, I shared, whether I am failed or not, but God has prepared for me a work. The work of God. So like this. Whether you are, you have opened your heart or not, Sister Tara, do you understand? Yes. What do you understand? God has prepared for you nice mission. Yes or no? Or my first I am saying the answer, what you are thinking. Sister Nimula, what do you think? Suppose, so far, so far, both of your name is not there. Your vocation is stopped. 
or further is there? What do you say? Tell me, come on. What is pain is going on? Or more this is an like me. Whether I am getting pain or not, I am enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? No. I'm not able to say. Uh, uh, what is going on? He, she is fighting with God, I hope. He is some. You? You are fighting or not? Yeah, you have to fight. So that while you fight with God, He will show you the right way, right path, right thinking. If you are sharing with someone that is different, nobody can give you the solution. Only when you fight, when you talk to God, He will give you the right solution, right way, right path, right judgment. That's why this is the right judgment what He says. Mr. Nehru, please stop for it. She is not saying. Will you open your heart, mind, and so see, I am also getting pain. We all of us are getting pain in our life. So that what we love, this one we have to always remember in our life. Or what we like, if we don't get, tears comes out. But that tears will bring you joy. Yes or no? Tears will bring our joy. That's why listen to the word of God. Listen to Jesus and He will see our pains and suffering. This is life. In the life of Jesus, we are spending. We will proclaim this one. Someone to say, my whole life has changed since 2013. Because for a little bit we might be knowing why 2009. Because when the problem came to us, life and death in our family. Only believe in Jesus Christ has changed our family life. Whether we are able to go in his track or not, in the track of Jesus Christ or not. But we have lived and we have been saved. I was being targeted to be killed. My family members are being targeted to death. But God has saved us in our life. He has given us the new life. If we want to be receiving the new life, then our belief, what we say in our heart, we have to do it in our life. In that way only, we can be saved. In that way, only God can save us through our suffering, through our joys. We have talked, we have prayed, we are talking, and within us, we are praying through our heart, through our mind, and through our life. So, this thing we have to remember again and again. So that we may know the path of Jesus Christ. With this, with all our suffering, all our joys, let us concentrate once again and pray. Let us pray for each one of us, for our family, for our hospital, and especially Nayantara and Sister Nirmala. Nine means you know, sister. Chokhen. This nine means Chokhen our eyes and Chokhen Moni. Chokhen Moni. This the golden means of eyes. Chokhen Moni. You will be shining like Nanda. 
She's the name of your name. Like Mary. Yeah. Nice lady. Mary. She had a what? Pure heart. You know what pure heart? <coughs> so what is that? Pure heart. Pure our spiritual body and our earthly pure body. Let us offer to Jesus Christ. As St. Paul says in Romans chapter 12, what it says? When we offer sacrifice, all of us let us be here. I know our words are pending outside. Yes. That's why we have to. If that work has to be done outside, what about that work? If we are, we shall want to work well, then let us offer ourselves that whatever ever the responsibility we have got, and after offering, we'll be doing. God will bless here. Then, when we Way and bring any work, it will bless. But let us make it pure. So, Roman chapter 12, as Jewish Jesus Paul is saying to our his letter, when you offer you sacrifice your body to God, it should be pure. Our body should be pure. Our mind, our soul, our life, our heart. It should be pure. That's all. Now we are going to offer sacrifice. Let us put in this our life, our heart, our soul, everything in this holy Bible and